Hello all, and welcome back to another hands-on exercise. This is gonna be adding multiple languages to an architect call flow. Now in this, you have to actually go through and add the uh, languages to each call flow as you go through. So let's go ahead and get started. Obviously, you're already logged into your Genesis Cloud account. Um, you're already into architect. You can see I already have my uh, test call flow in edit mode. Um, so go ahead and get there. Maybe pause this if you need to. Go ahead and get there, uh, and then we'll get started. Um, what we'll do, uh, it's pretty easy to do. I'll have that document like we, like I always do up on there to be able to uh, follow along. Obviously, the video is going to provide more information uh, than just the just the uh, the document alone. So as we get started, for the first piece right here, we need to add supported languages. So you kind of see under the starting task within the settings, there's supported languages. You go ahead and click on that. English, of course, um, you know, when you first create the call flow, it asks you what language you put it in. English is obviously uh, what, what I put it in. Um, when you add other languages, you can kind of see there's a drop down of, uh, you know, a couple dozen here. You can do more languages. That just offers even more, um, more options. Keep in mind that not all languages offer text-to-speech, so you have to have a a prompt for that or it will it will flag it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add a few languages. We're going to add a, a very common one, Spanish, uh, United States here. That goes, ahead, that goes ahead and adds that. And then we're going to go ahead and add French, which is right, French Canada. You will notice here the text-to-speech engine defaults. The default is Genesis TTS. Um, there is a non-default or Genesis TTS. Um, this is not, uh, we're not going to go through uh, and have a video for adding, um, you know, like Amazon Poly or anything like that. We're just going to go ahead and use the default Genesis TTS. There gets into some costs and whatever that you incur um, using other TTS engines. Uh, for when you add like French or, or Spanish, um, you'll also see it defaults. It has a voice that you can select. Um, there's, uh, even if you exit that, I believe it only provides one voice. Yeah. Uh, and so I just, you know, I don't really worry about it. I just leave it there. I don't worry about the default language skill either um, because the default language skill is English. I select it by this. Uh, so we got that taken care of. Now we can go back in uh, into the uh, starting task here just to get somewhere. What we need to now do is allow um, the callers that call in, um, like force them to a menu to where they can select, whether it's English, Spanish, um, or French. So we'll go ahead and do that. So uh, under the reusable menus, add a reusable menu here, toolbox. We're just gonna go ahead and add a menu. I'm gonna rename it to language menu. That way I know what it is. <clears throat> For the text-to-speech, not gonna really do that, but what, what I am gonna do is add prompt. Go ahead and hit the plus sign because I need to add a new prompt because it's not a, a prompt that's in the system yet. And then I'm just gonna do language menu. Create the prompt. Now you'll see here for missing audio or text to speech, you need to have that. Typically, what I do is I'll go out to Google Chrome, and so I'll go ahead and add that and do, you know, English to Spanish. And so I'll get that ready. I know for English, press one. And now I just need to do for Spanish in that. Now, granted, if you have a prompt, it's going to be a little bit different. You won't have to worry about it too much, um, but you will still need for at least this. Um, you'll need to have uh, in the different languages. So for Spanish, press two. So I go ahead and copy that and place it there. So let's go ahead and copy, paste. And then for the other one, I have it off screen now, uh, it's just going to be for French now. So for French, press three. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that and press three. So now I have that. What I'm going to do, you can still see that it has missing audio. So I'm going to go ahead. You will see I need to put all of this in uh, in here as well. So I'll go ahead and do that at a later time. But you will need to do that. So for audio, you're just going to have this recorded for English Press 1. In Spanish, you'll play that for Press 2. And then for French, you'll actually do that to play for Press, for press 3. Uh, and then so now you see the prompt there. So we have the prompt located. You guys see there's a default menu choice. We need to we need to have that. So in order to do that, we need to add some tasks. Uh, and so under the toolbox here, under task, you'll see task. And so I just go ahead. I'm going to add three of them because obviously we need to have three uh, for the English, English, Spanish, and French. So go ahead and do that. 
And so go ahead and highlight that first task. I'm going to put English here. Now, granted, if you guys uh, are in a different country or you're do, you have a different language, that's your primary language, that's what's going to be option one. Uh, and then the other options uh, will allow that. For this one, it's just going to be English. I'm going to press, have them press option one for that. I'm going to go ahead and redo this, all of this real quick. So, so Spanish, there's option, didn't want option three, wanted option two. And then finally for French, this just gives you a good idea of what, you know, when without having to actually go in and look at it, you'll see um, what, you know, what it is, what the option is. So now for this, um, obviously we need to add some things right here. So we, what you can do is under flow right here, um, you'll see that it says set language. So go ahead and click and drag and then set for option one. It's going to be English. You'll be able to set that same for Spanish here. So click and drag here and then set it for Spanish. And then finally, set the language for French here. So you've set the language, perfect. Now, where do we want this to go? Well, obviously we have this menu, right? So we want them after we select um, the language or after they select the language, we want then it to continue on the, the normal route. So we're gonna go ahead and hit menu, jump to menu here, and then it's gonna hit main menu. So now the reds went away. We know that we've got that closed loop there. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same on the other two. Jump to menu, main menu. And then finally for English, do the same thing. Main menu. So we have that. So now it's come in. We don't have it in the starting test to go to the language menu yet, but from the language menu, we have the prompt created. Obviously the menu options, that's a something we wanna look at. Usually under menus, I go ahead and change this, did not do that yet two to five, that's the defaults so that we usually do it. And you'll notice once you make that change, that change has happened. Now, typically with your default language, um, usually that's what the default menu choice is if they don't press option two or three. Um, so in this, sec in this section here, you can kind of see English, obviously if French is your main one or Spanish or whichever language that you guys um, are your default in the country you're in, um, default it to that because Obviously, we don't want it to, if your default is English, we don't want to default for, to Spanish or French. So we've got the language menu taken care of. We've got that it's routing to the main menu after it's done. There's really just one thing we have to complete uh, to just close the loop on being able to get it transferred there. And that's in that starting task. Go to where, so let me go ahead and uh, maximize that a little bit. Go to where you're transferring to the main menu in that starting task and simply just highlight it. And now you're gonna be able to change this from main menu to language menu. So it's gonna come in, it's gonna do um, whatever checks it's gonna do, it's gonna now transfer to the language menu and then play them um, the, the language offer. They'll be able to select it and then it will transfer to the main menu uh, and they'll be able to continue on. So always keep that in mind. Um, make sure that you do a lot of testing on that. So the next thing is you kind of look at the validate, it's already checked, you don't need to hit validate. Um, but you can hit publish. Obviously, it does a validation before it publishes. And then you'll be able to go ahead and start your test. Um, start your test. Make sure that the language is working. Obviously, any prompts that you need to get uploaded uh, for the additional prompt, you know, for the additional languages, make sure you do that. Uh, because, for example, I have this menu prompt here. This is only playing text to speech. This is only playing in English. Um, I would need to go through and um, create a prompt like we did with the language menu and then add the different prompts um, for the for English, French, and Spanish. I hope that helped on how uh, to create those languages and kind of make that uh, make that menu and then how to route that through from the menu to the from the language menu to the main menu. Um, if you guys have any questions, obviously reach out. Um, I'm always available. I try, I try to get all questions as fast as I can. Other than that, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next uh, next video. Thanks.